Having a keyless door lock with four people is definitely something that was appealing. Being able to type in the code, unlock the door, not have to keep track of a key, and or if we go out for a short bike ride, not taking a physical key with us, just being able to press a button, lock the door, and walk away. But I couldn't really discern between Latchet and RV Lock which one was gonna best suit our needs, and so I got them both. We ended up using them for a few weeks each, and I wanna go over some of the similarities and some of the differences. So both units are super easy to install. You're gonna take out this unit and put in the new unit. There's no cutting involved, no wire splicing. It's just several screws through the door frame, the door itself, and the handle, and then it just pops right out, and the new one pops right in. Now, they did give us new jam hardware for the RV side. I didn't end up needing it. The hardware I already had was at the same size, and so I left it in, didn't even install the new ones. But the way these guys work is they've got an outside keypad and an inside unit. This is where the batteries are housed and they connect through the door frame with the wire connection. Pretty slick setups. The motor actuates the deadbolt and then you can also have the keyed option to lock the handle itself. So if you lock the key option manually, you have to unlock it manually. So the, the actuator only controls the deadbolt portion. And then you've got the eight button numeric keypad that you can program to put in any code of your choice. And so for all intents and purposes, the functionality of the latchet versus the RV lock, there's not a whole lot of difference in how they function. Both of them have key fobs that you can use to remotely unlock the door. They both have keypads that you can use and they both have manual keys. So you can get latchet, key to like if you buy a package. If you buy two locks at the same time, they'll come to you, both the manual keys will be key to like, and then you can use the key fob to unlock the doors. RV lock can also be key to like with as many locks as you order at that one time. Additionally, you can control just one door or the other door independently of each other. I did see on RV Lock's website that they had a refurbished page. So if you were okay getting a refurbished unit, maybe something that was returned to them, someone didn't like it or whatever, and that was a savings of almost half on the refurbished page. I did not see a refurbished option on Latchet's page, but that's something that might come in the future. And if you wanna dive deeper with other RVers about all things RV, DIY projects, gear reviews, travel locations, anything RV, come on and join us over at the RV Gear and Far Group. I'll make sure to put a link in the description box below. We'd love to have you. RV Lock's website says that the unit is weatherproof. Latchet says their lock is IP67 rated waterproof. Both units run off of four AA batteries, and when the batteries are getting low, it starts to beep, kind of like your smoke detector to let you know that the batteries need to be changed. RV Lock offers baggage locks as well, these themselves. And the cool thing is, is if you order baggage locks for your whole rig, so you have 10 compartments on the bottom of your Class A and a door, you order them all at the same time, they'll all ship out using the same manual key, which is pretty cool. Latchet just has manual keys for the doors. They also offer baggage compartment locks, However, they're a barrel style key, and therefore you can't use the same type of key. However, you can order them in sets of two, five, and 10 that will all use the same barrel key for the compartments. Both the locks are all steel inside and out and come in just a little bit over four pounds. Now, as far as aesthetics go, the RV lock only comes in black. With Latchet, you get the option of having either a black lock or a white lock. If you have a Class C or a Class A motorhome, make sure you check the fitment guide on both websites because there may be a different requirement for a keyless door handle based on the type of door on your motorhome. Another thing with the compartment locks is Latchet has three different lengths, so you can fit it exactly to the depth of your compartment door. RV locks are only one size, and it says on the website that it may require some modification to have it fit the stop gap correctly. However, you're getting that all keyed with the same key as the front door, so there's definitely trade-offs to both of them. And looking through their websites about replacement keys and how the keys are keyed alike, because that's one of the reasons that a lot of people get a replacement door lock is that from the manufacturer, there's only so many keys, different key styles that come out, and oftentimes your keys will open another rig's door. And so for security reasons, is one thing that a lot of people like to change out that lock. RV lock has a key code on here and you can order replacement codes based off of that number on the key. So they have a list based off of the last digit, it's a three digit number, and then you go into that list digit and you select the other key and can order it when it's cut to size. From what I can tell, latchets are all uniquely keyed. If you order a replacement key from latchet, they send you a blank, which you then take to a key cutter and get it copied off of the original one. So it seems to me that the latchets keys are truly unique they may not be 100% unique across all models, I don't know. However, there's no key code on it 
that someone could grab and then order a new key or order all the keys and just go around and try locks. So I'm editing through this and I want to clarify what I say. Latchet's keys do have a three-digit code on them. However, I can't go to Latchet's website, type in that three-digit code, and then order a replacement key, which means that obviously they reuse them every so often, just like the normal door handles you buy at the hardware store. But I can't grab your keys, find the digit code, order a key, and then get into your RV. So when I opened up the boxes and looking at them, the first thing I noticed was that the indoor pole latch is significantly different than the one that came on my rig. So the manual door lock has got this really nice and deep finger pull so that when you shut the door from the inside, there's a lot of handle to grab onto to get a good purchase. Because of the way these are designed to have batteries, that's where they put the battery. So if you look at the two of these, there's very little to grab onto with the RV lock. It's nice and flat and straight, and I can get just the tips of my fingers on there, but it's nowhere near as deep as the manual lock. And that's just because they have to fit four AA batteries in there for this unit to run. And there was a difference again between the RV lock and the latchet. So RV locks is nice and straight. Latchet kind of has this wavy pattern. And I thought for sure that that wavy pattern would be even less purchase. However, I have not found that to be the case. I did not notice any difference in my hand slipping off or how much purchase I had on the handle between the RV lock and the latchet. Even though when I looked at them visually, I would have thought I would have had more grip on the RV lock, but I haven't found that to be the case. In addition to the two key fobs, latchet also sends you a little multi-tool screwdriver here with all of the things that you'll need to install the unit. So it truly is out of the box ready to go and install. Whereas with the RV lock, you just gotta grab a screwdriver. Now, because RV lock can key all those the same to the same key, I originally thought that that was gonna be a deal breaker for me, that I could just have one key that unlocks everything on my rig. However, with the keyless lock, I don't use the key to the front door anymore. And so it doesn't matter to me if I have another key with the barrel style to replace the lock compartment. So I may end up ordering those in the future to replace the latches because they are sized specifically to the compartment door they're not a universal length that you then have to fit and make so. So there's a benefit in having them key alike with the RV lock, but it may not fit the door very well either. So there's pros and crowns and trade-offs to both of them. So overall, the keypads on both units are very similar. RV lock has a metal frame with the buttons coming out from the back that you manually press. They do give a nice tactic feedback and latchets are seem to be one whole pad, which could give it a little bit more waterproofing because there's nothing to get inside there. This is all one piece, and then you press that. So RV lock can accommodate up to 10 key fobs per unit. Latchet recommends a maximum of four fobs per unit. However, I found that we don't use the fobs at all, but really the keypad is all we really need. I don't find much value in the key fobs. You may, and that may be a deal breaker for you that RV lock can do up to 10, Latchet recommends up to four. Both units also beep when you touch the keypad. However, you can turn that beeping off if you press and hold the number one for five seconds. No more beeping. And to turn the beeping back on, press and hold one again for five seconds. Now I'm not gonna jump too much into the install of these units because it really is super simple. The instructions on both of them are very clear. It's six screws, you pop them out, put them back in, program in your code by pressing the, the learn button, type it in, hit enter, and you move about your day. If you're really interested in learning how to do that, leave me a comment down below asking for one of those videos and maybe I'll put it together. But I really wanted to focus more about the differences between the two and not necessarily the tactics of how to use them. I would suggest when you get your unit, write down the key code that's on your key in case you lose them and or look at the sticker on the inside of the lock before you install it. It's also got what key code goes to it. So if you ever need to replace it, you have that information to get a hold of the manufacturer and get a replacement key. So now the part we've all been waiting for, which one are we gonna go with and keep on the rig permanently? We've chosen to go with the latchet. I felt that the mechanism has been a lot smoother for our rig and our situation. We had some grabbiness, I guess, with the RV lock where we had to close the door three, four, five times that we have not had with the latchet. Could just be how it's set up on our rig, certain locations, but ultimately I had to make a choice one way or the other. Having them all keyed alike would have been great. And I think if I had a motorhome, something with a 
bunch of undercarriage lockable storage, that may be the way I go. However, the fact that they're a universal lock length and it's not custom to the depth of the door and you have to modify it a little bit to make it fit was definitely a turnoff. So I'm okay with having one key for the door and one key for the compartments because after having installed the keyless door lock, I don't use a key on the door very often at all. So overall, RV lock and latchet, nearly identical in design, identical in function, and I had to choose one way or the other what we were gonna pick. So we're gonna go with the, the latchet, as I said, and it's for the reasons of it just gave us smoother working for our rig, and I don't have enough outdoor compartments that having it all key to like would have been terribly beneficial. Again, if I had a different rig, maybe that would be the case. I think adding a keyless lock to your RV makes a ton of sense, especially if you have a family. Allowing my kids to be able to come up and not have to keep track of a key, but be able to lock and unlock the front door has been absolutely fantastic. I hope that this overview and this comparison gave you some insights as to the pros and cons of the different keyless door locks that are out there for RVs at the moment and helps you to make a better decision on which one is going to be right for you and your situation. Prices are different, offerings are slightly different. Design and functionality for the front door specifically are nearly identical. So go ahead and choose which one fits for you. Leave me a comment down below, latchet or RV lock? Which one are you gonna go with or which one did you go with and why? And if you haven't already purchased one, go ahead and click on one of the links down below. It's an affiliate link that allows you to purchase the product at no additional cost to you, but supports the channel. And now I know some of you are wondering, what is that bar hanging off of the door on your RV? This is the new Moride latch extender. I saw it at the Tampa RV show and immediately knew that it was something I wanted to add to my rig. It's a super simple concept. It just clips on to the door handle. You drill three bolts through here and it's a latch extender. What's really cool is it allows me to open the door from the ground, bringing it down. What's more cool is it allows my kids to open the door without having to step all the way to the top step, undo the handle, step down, pull the door out, walk around, and close the door. There's also been times and situations where they physically did not have enough leverage on the top step to be able to open that door. And so this is a huge lever. It allows us all to open it with much less effort. I can do it with one finger. And it really made all the difference in our daily life, especially with kids. I would assume that folks all through the age range would benefit from this. I've got a whole video on this new piece of gear. If you wanna check it out, go ahead and check out the link in the description box below because of all the things that we've done to upgrade our RV door, this is by far the one that has been the best and the one that I would do first if I had a whole new rig and I had to start from scratch. It's a Moride latch extender and I can't say enough good things about it. I really enjoy this product and it's changed the way that we use the front door. <laughs> Hopefully you gained some value from this video. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Again, RV lock or latch it, which one are you going with? Until next time, I'm Joshua. Take care and happy trails.